Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a few rounds of Isle of Trains All Aboard. I believe we've covered Isle of Trains before, but this is the newer version that has a little bit of different art and a few tweaks to the game, so I want to play through a couple rounds. If you want to see our full review, click the link in the video description. Otherwise, let's go. So to set up, you're going to build the island. If you're playing a four-player game, you're going to have another island card, but we're not playing that. Then you're going to put the locations out by the appropriate places. So, the, you know, it says Camp Eagle and all that. Shuffle the ticket cards and put those randomly around. Put the progress track somewhere off to the side of the board. In a two-player game, we're going to play through four of those. Shuffle the cards. Well, each person is going to get a level one engine. You're going to shuffle the rest of the cards. Deal each player five. Flip three face up. Put the deck here. Each player will get an action card. I have both of them here. Or both two cards here so we can see both sides. And... Each player is going to get two passengers from the bag. That's one of the new rules, so figure I'd show it to you. All right, so let's go ahead and play. I'm going to use this cube to see whose turn it is so I don't forget. So let's go ahead and play. So on your turn, you get to do two actions, and the actions are take a card from either the face-up supply or the deck or a passenger, build a card from your hand, which the cost is that number. That means you have to discard that many numbers from that many cards from your hand to pay for it. You can load, you can load a passenger onto a car that holds passengers. So this has a, to hold one, this can hold one passenger. Some of them will hold coal, there's boxes and there's oil, I believe. Or you can deliver, if I had a loaded up passenger, I could deliver this guy to Flint Beach and claim the bonus, okay? You're gonna get to do two actions. You can do the same action twice, or two different actions, whatever you wanna do, okay? So this player goes first, let's look at their cards. So we have all these cards. I'm not gonna do that because that's not gonna really help you. But along with engines, there are buildings, which basically are points. They have some kind of special abilities. There are hoppers, which hold coal. There are cabooses, which give you a special power. And there are, let's, a box car, which hold boxes. Makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna do two actions. I think I want to Go ahead and build a level one hopper. So that's gonna mean I have to discard one card. I'm gonna get rid of the level three box card right now. And I have one other action and I'm gonna go ahead and stick, load this caboose as coal into, whoops, wrong way, I always put the wrong way, into my box car. Now, those are my two actions. Notice how the cars have some special abilities. If another player loads that good into my car, into my train, they can do that. If I load it myself, I can't do it, okay? But either way, that's my two actions. I build a card, I loaded a card. Now it's the next player's turn, and you have a hand limit of five at the end of your turn. All right, so they're gonna do a similar deal. They want to start using, actually, they're going to, they're gonna go ahead and load up their um, passenger on the, engine they can do that and then they're going to build a level one tanker it's their turn that means they have to spend two cards and they'll get rid of caboose five and the bank and that's their two turns all right now back to me my turn i now need some cards i think so i'm actually going to do this i'm going to Put this guy here, then I'm gonna deliver him to the cactus mine, and that will let me draw five cards. That's both my actions, and then I have to discard down to five when I'm done. Um, let's get rid of that. I'm getting rid of all the buildings. I don't need those right now, so I want cards. All right, so I'm done. I d picked up a passenger, delivered a passenger, okay? Now it's this player's turn. They're gonna do a similar thing. They're gonna deliver this passenger to Alpine Lodge. That lets them draw five cards and you don't have to discard down till the end of your turn. So, uh, let's see if we can build something. I'm actually gonna build a level two engine. So I'm gonna upgrade. So when you're upgrading, you get to pay the difference in cost. So three minus one, I have to pay two cards. So I no longer need these two level two engines. I have three of them. 
this level one engine will get discarded. I now have a level two engine and it comes with a free passenger, which I will draw out of the bag. And I now have two passengers to be taken where they need to go. All right, back to this player's turn. I want to, I'm actually gonna do a level two hopper. Cost me four cards, I have four cards, so I'm gonna discard them all. And now for my other action, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up and put them in my engine. All right, this player's turn. This player will Ooh, that's expensive. They're gonna build a hopper, a level one hopper. Have to discard one card, and they're gonna discard a level three box car, um, coach. They're not quite there yet. And I think we're going to load one of our oil into here. So now I have some oil in my train. All right, this player's turn. Again, I'm going to go here. I'm going to deliver to Flint Beach. That gives me four points. That's the bonus on that one. And then I will draw a card. I need a card. I would like, I think I want this coach. So I'm going to take the coach. And these get refilled immediately. All right, this player's turn. They only have one card. So. They're going to take this card. That's one action. Then they're going to load up this card into their hopper. So they got some coal and they got some oil. All right, they're feeling good. I want to show you something cool next turn. All right, now it is, this player's trying to have one card. So I think on my turn, I'm going to draw a passenger. You can, you can draw a card or draw a passenger. So I'm going to draw this passenger. He wants to go to Devon City. And I'm going to also, what is this card? A coach. I'm going to go ahead and load up, oh yeah, this as well. So I have a two hoppers. Okay, so done. Now it's this player's turn. First thing they're going to do is they're going to deliver to one of the islands. They have coal and oil, so they're gonna to deliver to the cactus mines. I don't need these cards. These cards just kinda of tell me what I'm doing. Uh, so they're gonna to deliver to the cactus mines. So what happens now is that stays here. They have to get rid of their two cards that they delivered. And now they have some points. But what else this does is it advances the progress marker. Every time one of these is completed, or one of these locations has passengers all the way up, this moves. Once we hit four, the game ends, we play another round, the game is over. All right, so I'm, this player now has four points, and now they can start working on some secondary things. They can either deliver three coal and three oil, or two coal, three oil, and one package for additional points, which is cool. But we're not going to do that yet, so that was one action. And let's go ahead and load that one up all right done now for my turn i'm going to deliver to this one i have two coal i don't know why i built two hoppers that was not smart but whatever it worked out and that advances this one now i have some secondary stuff that i can do and i think for my next action i'm going to put that guy right there so that was my turn now it's back for this one, they're gonna, for first turn, they're gonna deliver their, oh no, I don't wanna do that yet. Let's see what this card is. Oil, yeah, that's fine. First action, I'm gonna deliver this. So that let me draw two cards. And I get a free load action. And I'm gonna load with some oil right here. So that's one action. And now I have nothing else I really wanna do. Do so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw a card. Done. 
All right, now back to this player. I'm gonna deliver this character over here. So that's two cards and I get a free build. So, uh, I can't do that yet. So I can't do a free build. Cause I don't have any good cards, so we won't do that. But I did make a delivery, so that's fine. And I think I'm going to draw this card. All right, done. One more thing I didn't talk about is on your train, you have some weight limits. Four, I have four. Then I have weight. The red cannot exceed the green. So the higher engine you get, the more capacity you have of pulling train cars. All right, so that was my turn. Back to this player's turn. I think they're going to, what do I need? I need more oil. I need a level two tanker. Do I have a level two tanker? I do not. Can I get one up here? I want to draw two cards. Caboose eight, level three engine. All right, so I drew two cards, that's my turn. Back to this player. Level one tanker, these cards stink. Uh, do I need a box? I do need a box. So I'm gonna take this box car and I need to upgrade my engine real bad. Um, second one, I will I need three coal. I'm gonna go ahead and load up a coal here. Dang it, wrong way every time. All right, done. All right, back to this player. They are going to pick this up and deliver. So that's two actions, that gives them four cards. And now I can have to discard down to five. One, two, three, four. All right, good, I discarded down to five. All right, now it's back to my turn. And I wanna load up another coal. So let's load up another coal. I can hold two, again, wrong way every time. I can hold two in this one. And I need oil, I need a tanker. But instead I'm gonna take out a person. So those are my two actions. All right, and that's how the game's gonna keep going until we've filled up some of these locations or we've you know gotten more of these you can't get another face up one until you've completed uh, a secondary contract uh, and then once that is done we'll each play one more round and then you're going to add up your points the points are on each of the cards you get one point for all the goods and passengers you're still carrying you're going to get the points that are on your completed contracts and whatever I think there's one more thing oh these points point tokens and whoever has most points after all that is said and done is the winner. And that is how you play Isle of Trains All Aboard. Again, if you want to check out our review, click on the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and as always, keep giving.